Army researchers at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, are evaluating prototype devices developed by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The Warrior Web Project has a goal to create a soft, lightweight undersuit to help reduce injuries and fatigue while improving mission performance. Researchers from Harvard University's Wies Institute have spent the past two years developing a biologically inspired smart suit that aims to boost efficiency through a new approach. A series of webbing straps contain a microprocessor and a network of strain sensors. The suit mimics the action of leg muscles and tendons, so a soldier's muscles use less effort. In all, the Army Research Laboratory will evaluate four Warrior Web prototypes. The Army Research Lab was selected to be the independent government evaluators for the program. Um, DARPA was looking for an organization that had experience collecting um, biomechanics and physiologic data on soldiers um, in the field and evaluating soldier performance for various um, equipment items. We have a unique capability in that we have a biomechanics lab co-located with an outdoor obstacle course and a cross-country course. So we're able to collect both um, lab-based data and field data for the systems. During testing, a soldier wears the device while carrying battle gear. Each step on the instrumented treadmill measures how hard his feet are hitting the ground with each stride. We're also um, looking at how they're walking in terms of time and space. So we get things like stride length and stride frequency um, and time that their feet are in contact with the ground. Uh, we also are collecting energy expenditure data so we know um, how many calories they're burning while they're walking on the treadmill with the different conditions. Army evaluators and Harvard researchers walked alongside specialist Rafael Bosa during a three-mile test through paved roads and rough terrain. DARPA also turned to Army researchers during the first phase of the Warrior Web prototype development. Okay. Okay. The team tested nine devices on soldiers over a 21-week period last year. The devices that they've brought us have been really interesting and um, in many cases did seem to help the soldiers to some extent. Um, and the, the change in the, the level of development from the first round of evaluations to the second round of evaluations has been really impressive so far. Harvard researchers say they are optimistic about their device. They said they hope to help soldiers walk longer distances, keep fatigue at bay, and minimize the risk of injury while carrying heavy loads. For Army Technology Live, I'm David McNally.